morning, welcome to Flory Models Daily Show. Here we are on Thursday the 13th of October 2016 and really good day today. We should be able to push on quite a lot. What I want to do is, uh, technically it's review day, but I'm a little bit ahead to be honest. I've got loads of reviews for you coming over the next few weeks. Uh, so what I'm going to do this morning is push on with this guy. Really, really happy of how this has come along so far. It's one of those kits where you think, oh, it's old, it's Hasegawa, it's, you know, 20 years, 30 years old now and all the rest of it. Actually, it is really, really nice. No problems with it at all. Fit issues aside, and I said, we have got a few in there. This isn't, you know, a shake and bake perfect kit, but if you take your time with them and you go around and you just take your care with them, it's no problem at all. And doing the camo work as well, I didn't want it to be a show bird. I know it is a show bird because it's got a black tail and it's specialist markings, but I didn't want it to be one of these sort of mirror finish jobs and all the rest of it. The only trouble I have got is glue and tack all over the black areas where we masked it too soon. And now it is see stuck to my fingers so i have got to try and get that off somehow um and obviously being acrylic uh and stuff like that is that we don't really want to attack it with the normal things like alcohols and that to remove the glue um if you rub it your fingers it comes off but obviously we need to deckle onto it so i need to take care of that first but we're going to get on with that one and get that one done so if i can get that one deckled this morning that would be absolutely fantastic and then we can get on with this which i'm really looking forward to now this is from john uh, you see him down here on the live shows. He's lent me this one. Uh, this is his one. I don't think we're going to see these around for sale um, purely because they're a limited edition. I think they're 500, he was saying. Uh, and it weighs a ton. And I couldn't work out why it weighed a ton. Now, I haven't opened it yet, but it does look like we get a book in there. And there is obviously some resin goodies and we've got some brazen bits in there and everything else. So it is the Zvezda Hind, uh, which is a beautiful, beautiful kit. 170 second scale, so this thing's not a monster, uh, but you do get two of them in there. But I'm really looking forward to actually doing that one and if i could get hold of a kit i probably would okay that said sneak peek due in tomorrow is a certain foxhound okay mick 31 just saying i don't know if it is going to come in yet i've been told it is uh and it's going to get dispatched today but if that actually happens we don't know uh if it does we might have a sneak peek at that as well uh, tomorrow but i have got coming up for you tomorrow so we've got reviews on various little tools it's all reviews tomorrow uh, and everything else like that Anyway, first up, I do want to get this one deckled so it can sit dry uh, and everything. And then tomorrow, hopefully do a little bit more. And honestly, I think tomorrow we might be able to finish it off. Get that fitting in really, really nicely. Once that happy with that and we're fine with that, what we're going to do is give this probably a satin coat thinking about it. We want it to have it slightly weathered. It will give the sort of the wash something to grip onto. We can give it a wash. And then we've now we've done all the gear and all the smaller bits and pieces are ready. We can really get this thing together. And there we go. So yeah, really pushed on with this one this morning, as you can see. Lovely, um, really, the markings, I don't know, it's just something about Japanese markings. They just look absolutely stunning. And this sort of South Asia camo with the actual, the tan and the greens, it all just works absolutely lovely. I was, to be honest, starting to curse the decals because I couldn't get them to conform and go down. But now, as I say, they really are going down very, very well. So no problems with that. So good morning's work there. So what we're gonna do now, clear all this away and we're gonna get on with some reviews. Okay, so really pushed on with this one. We've got the deckling done, and to be honest, I've put down a coat of clear right the way over it just to seal it down so it can be drying off all tonight. And then in the morning, we can get a wash onto this one. Straightforward, no sort of fussing or anything else. Gonna give it a weather and wash just to knock it down a bit. And then we'll give it a flat coat over the top and then we'll perhaps pop in a little bit of detail work just to liven it up and then we can get it on see onto its gear unmasked and we'll have this thing absolutely done and finished so been a fantastic build really loved it really worked well with the paints everything else the only thing as i said we had to change that front color which we've done you look at references and they are all over the place for this particular thing but i'm sticking with the guns on that one and it's worked really well i'd say decals went down a little bit of trouble here and there they are very thick those decals but generally no problem at all so this afternoon reviewed this thing absolutely love it I hadn't looked in the box. Honestly, I hadn't. I had this thing here a week. I never looked at it. Surprise with the book. A very, very good, high quality, great reference book for all the markings that are down, down in there. And as I say in the review, Ed Ard are taking the very best aircraft kit of that particular type and then adding all their stuff to it and now they're putting books with it and everything else like that they are turning into my favorite kit manufacturer and reference and everything all in one so like we say here instead of having to go around and getting all that aftermarket stuff for it you don't have to do anymore just buy an edar kit put it on your shelf it's all there when you get to build it you're all good to go with everything you could possibly need but like we say in this one it is a limited edition and i can imagine this one selling out really really quickly so if you want one go and grab one if you can find one 
already uh, because I think they are going to dry up extremely quickly and then they're going to go for silly money on the usual silly sites like eBay and all the rest of it. So get in there first if you can. So that's it from me today. Tomorrow I'm going to be, say, pushing through heavily with this one. I'll vlog it, you'll see it anyway. And then we'll be looking around the site and we'll have your great builds at the end of the show on tomorrow's show. So there we go. That's it from me. Take care. Happy modeling. Thank you.